Hey friends, I have this chicken and she is not happy with me. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I have no idea what kind of chicken this is. She's been here for about a year. I hatched her. She hatched here from eggs that were from here. Um, I don't know what kind of mix she is. Um, my large breed chickens, I have the Smart Honas. I have Blue Lace Red Wine Dots, Tollbunt Polish, and Wheaton Marins along with the Madagascar game. She obviously is not a Polish. She's obviously not a Madagascar game. Uh, she's not a wine dot. So that leaves me to believe that she is some kind of, uh, oh, anomaly from the Spart Honas. Um, the red on the face, that's something that you would imagine that Spart Honas would produce from time to time. Um, the, the leakage that you see on her neck is not actual leakage that's mud everything here is covered in two inches of mud but the most unusual thing about her is hey hold on baby is that she's rumpless she does not have a tail she does not have what's called the parson's nose there's nothing there the there's just nothing there um nothing it's flat the last thing that you feel are her pelvic bones there's just nothing. Uh, she's been in with a red-headed Spart Hona and she lays eggs. I have purposefully not hatched any of her eggs. Uh, I've just been keeping her, but I'm wondering, what should I do with her? I don't know. She's an interesting little bird. Uh, not the tamest of things, but none of the Spart Honas are. There's a motorcycle racing down the highway. Like I said, she's a very interesting little bird. I don't know what, hey, calm down. Should I try to breed a tailless Spartona? How would that look, especially in woolly? What if I mixed her with a silky and bred a tailless silky? Uh, she doesn't lay colored eggs, so she's she's not a, you know, I asked somebody once and they said, well, she's a, a, a true Aracana, uh, but she doesn't have the muffs, the, the, the earrings that the true Araucanas have but she doesn't lay colored eggs either she lays tan colored eggs just like the smart honas I'm pretty sure that that has to be where she came from but I just don't know weird things happen to me all the time we are take a look at some pheasants he is still growing out his feathers from the molt uh, don't mind that top on the ground behind them. That fell off of a grow up pin. I've got to put it back on. We did have storms last night. Every, like I said, everything here is covered in mud. These pheasants lived in this pen with a pair of green wing macaws. The green wing macaws now live with my friend John in Idaho. So the pheasants have the entire pen with just a couple of fantail pigeons. And they're beautiful, aren't they? Now over here again, there's a tarp on the back. Y'all don't pay any attention to that. I do have to get that picked up, cleaned up. But well, these are just common ring neck pheasants. They're not anything special. They're not of a particular race or subspecies. They're just common domestic ring neck pheasants. And they're in the cage where macaws used to be also, and they share their cage with pigeons also. Uh, like I said, most all of my macaws went to live with John in Idaho. These are Volwick, I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, powder pigeons. And if you have any of those, I sure would like to get some more. Uh, I think they are beautiful. That coloration is just outstanding to me. I love them be, beyond belief. They are just so pretty. Um, but I got a pair of them and they had babies and I lost the male. Um, so I only have two females left. I really, really, really need to get some males. If you, Like I said, if you know of anyone that has some, please help me out. And there's Big O Murphy. He's the Belgian liege fighter rooster. And behind him, I have more ring neck pheasants. It's a melanistic male with just a 
the common normal colored domestic ringneck pheasant female. They, uh, that was one of the first structures that I built here on this property. It's a hoop house made out of cattle panels covered in hardware cloth. And it has held everything from finches up to cockatoos. Uh, lots of pigeons, lots of doves have lived in there. I've had lovebirds and cockatiels in there. Had a pair of dolphins, cockatoos lived in there for a while. But right now it's just the two pheasants. Like I said, you know, all kinds of bad things happened to me last year and I had to cut way back and so I don't have nearly the number of birds that I used to. Still got old Murphy though. Baby girl, I just scrubbed that bowl clean. Now you're in there messing up the water. Do you think she knows I'm filming her? There's one of her babies, a solid white fantail. They look like little peacocks strutting around. Fantails were the first fancy pigeons that I had as a kid. I cut my Papa Day's grass for every week for two months to save up enough money to buy a pair. Fifteen whole dollars. Way back in 1980 something. There's the daddy pigeon feeding the baby. But yeah, let me know what you think I should do with this girl. Um, I'm just going to put her... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Jeremiah had accidentally let her out. I'm going to put her back in this pen with these Spartanas. And just see what happens. Uh-oh, here, here, here. Here you go. Don't... There you go. You're back with your, with your hubby. She's been loose for a couple of days. Jeremiah had accidentally let her loose. Here's the Vorick powder. This is the original female, the mother to the other one. Um, she lays eggs and she sits on them and nothing ever happens to them because of course they're both girls. Hey. Hey. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye.